Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is a general energy reading for the day of Thursday, December 20th, 2018. We are getting close to the weekend, y'all. Um, school is almost out for winter break. Isn't that exciting? Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so... Uh, this is going to be a general energy reading for the day. Uh, this is not love or sign or career or anything specific. This is just what uh, spirit wants to bring through for us to think about, to discuss today. This is a general energy reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Energies are fluid, so this may not be something that's going, that's happening for you right now. It may be something that's coming up, you know, in the near future. It may be something that happened in the past. Who knows? Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. You can move on. I do invite you to hang out with us. Maybe you might get something good out of it, yeah? Um, just a quick reminder. I am running a holiday special. All readings except for single question readings are 20% off. That is going until midnight, December 31st. And just a heads up, our next happy hour session is going to be Saturday afternoon, uh, December 22nd. That is the day of the full moon here in the uh, Northeast, at least, in the uh, Northern Hemisphere, um, Northeast United States. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that sometime in that afternoon. I believe maybe around 2 p.m. Eastern time. We'll see, uh, but keep an eye out for that one. I will make an official uh, announcement about that later on, okay? All right, so let's get into it, guys. Okie dokie. Mm. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, December 20th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so I'm going to shuffle now. Um, yesterday, I was turning the volume down on the microphone um, because I didn't want to... I didn't want to... Um, you know, blow out anybody's eardrums while I shuffle, but many of you did say that it wasn't a big thing, so I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle, but you guys let me know how that works for you, because I know a lot of us do wear, like, headphones or earbuds and stuff, so you just, you guys just let me know, okay? All right. Thursday, December 20th, 2018. So there's, I was still seeing green. I did see white um, while I was starting, you know, while I was praying uh, just now. Um, and I'm, I'm just getting a lot of like Christmas vibes. You know, people are getting ready for Christmas. And um, those of you that have been celebrating Hanukkah, I'm not sure if it's still going. It's probably, I don't remember, but if it's still going, happy Hanukkah. If it's not still going, again, still <laughs> happy Hanukkah. Um, Kwanzaa is coming up, but this is just, you know, it's like a, 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 an energy of purity, um, getting, just getting ready for your holiday festivities, you know, whatever it is you do with your friends or your family. Um, <clears throat> and I did see green for the heart chakra. So as true to this, you know, this time of the year, people are really living more from the heart chakra or expressing themselves more from the heart chakra right now there's definitely some heart chakra healing that's happening that's for sure thursday december 20th 2018 all right i'm gonna give it one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for today okay thursday december 20th 2018 Okay, here we go, guys. Thank you so much, Spirit. Woo. Okay, there's one so far. Ooh, there's more. Okay. <laughs> there's that good old page of swords again. Underneath the deck, we have 
the chariot. So there's definitely some movement forward here. Movement in a brand new direction. Is this the emperor? No. <gasps> Ooh, you guys, the first card that flew out was the tower and it's in reverse. This is a good thing, guys. Like I said, there is definitely some movement forward here, okay? Positive action is being taken, all right? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay. And all these that are interesting. Okay, we've got quite a few cards here today. We're gonna start with uh, the Four of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles here. All right, Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, give me just a second. Five of Cups. <laughs> Five of Cups and Six of Swords. There's definitely a lot of movement, you guys. There's a change of pace, a change of space, mentally, physically, emotionally. Okay, we have the Page of Swords and the Six of Cups. All right. And then we also have... I feel like this is a separate little thing here, but we have the Page of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles, all in reverse here, okay? All right, this is basically, actually, this is how I wanna do it here. I wanna put these like this. All right, guys, so let me, give me just a second here. This is a lot to take in, um, but let me just get, the, so first and foremost, we're coming out of a tower moment here, all right? The tower is in reverse. With all of the momentum that's going on, you know, between the chariot and the six of swords, I'm not completely convinced that this is a resistance of a tower moment. I just feel like we're all coming out of the tower moment that we recently just experienced, and we're moving forward in some sort of way, all right? Okay. Um... There is some sort of fear here. Okay, now, we definitely have, we definitely have um, a soulmate situation, someone, potentially someone from the past, that's watching you. Okay, that's keeping, keeping an eye, I'm getting an energy of someone wanting to communicate. I mean, obviously, we do have the Knight of Swords here, okay? Um, the Knight of Swords is in reverse, and it's also with the Ace of Wands in reverse. So there's some sort of blockage. This, look, I, I am seeing two different people here. One of them embodying the Queen of Pentacles energy. The other... I guess the other one is attracted to this one person here. And, kind, and this person wants to make some sort of offer. But you see, all of their energy is blocked right now. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Now this other person here that's embodying the Queen of Pentacles energy is in sort of like a restful period with the Four of Swords um, because they themselves just came out of a tower moment, okay? And you know, they're, they're dealing with a lot of regret and remorse. I'm really feeling like this is from the past here, okay? And they're just, <laughs> they're just trying to move forward with their lives, which definitely makes sense for those in the Divine Feminine camp. Now, this could be a new soulmate here with the Page of Swords and the Six of Cups, or it could be someone from the past. But also, this is an energy, <laughs> this is an energy of this person here keeping an eye out for some sort of soulmate situation. And I feel like this is what they would be looking for down here. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, and Page of Cups. Someone that would embody this energy would want to communicate, you know, would want to make some sort of offer, would want to start something. But for others of you, this person is already here. I think the reason why this is reversed is because you may not be aware of, it's like it's hidden from you. You're not aware of this person, but they're aware of you. <laughs> 
That's kind of creepy. They're aware of you for some of you. It's like someone's waiting in the wings to approach you, to make, to, to, to make some sort of offer, to communicate in some way. And we have the chariot. Both parties are wanting to move forward. Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So for some of you, this could be your energy here. Both of your energies. You have your eye on someone and you're wanting to communicate, but you feel blocked for whatever reason. Um, fear, anxiety, um, lack of belief in yourself potentially. Maybe not just not even knowing the right thing to say. But up here, this is def I'm definitely getting energies of the Divine Feminine up here with the Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and Six of Swords. I just feel like everybody's just come out of a tower moment for the most part. It could just be one, uh, one person, one or the other has come out. I just, I, I do feel like there was a tower moment for everybody involved here. And for down here, this person, the tower moment could be realizing that this person has some sort of interest or feelings in the other. And now is kind of trying to figure out what to do about it. It's like they maybe recently became to realize that there is some sort of soulmate bond here. And they're trying to figure out what to do about it, how to approach the situation. And this person, especially when I look at the Queen of Pentacles, to me, she just looks like she's somewhat oblivious. She's just focused on her own thing right now. And she's not really aware of anyone kind of like buzzing around her. But someone is watching. Either you're watching someone else or they're watching you. But this is not in a creepy way. This is... This is someone who realizes there's some sort of soulmate bond here. Six page of pentacles, six of cups, all right? There is definitely either a soulmate bond or um, a past life bond or a, just the past in this lifetime, okay? But so, it just feels like somebody's waiting in the wings, all right? Okay, so let's get some clarification. I want to start with the tower. <laughs> yes, I definitely want to start with the tower. And then we're going to work our way down. I might even... I might go from the tower down to the page of swords and six of cups. shuffle and then we're gonna clarify this tower moment here okay here we go Woo! Tower here. all right underneath the deck Hey, yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. So this is definitely a situation where something is very much done and over with. Whoa. <laughs> Four of Cups, Five of Cups. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups twice here. So the Tower moment represents some sort of missed opportunity and the regret, remorse, and shame or guilt or pain or whatever surrounding that. Okay. But you see, that situation is over now, all right? And there's definitely some sort of healing and sort of just, some sort of justice that's coming out because of it. We've got justice here, and we've got the Seven of Swords. <laughs> so, so there's some, it's, there's definitely, okay, and justice and the Seven of Swords fell out on the chariot here. And the chariot, I really feel like the chariot energy is... This person that's waiting in the wings, that's wanting to come forward and say something, um, it's a form of like incognito justice, 
okay, with the Seven of Swords. I'm not getting anything malicious with the Seven of Swords. What I'm getting is that the universe, this is mostly universal energy here, Seven of Swords and Justice. Like I said, some of you have some sort of admirer that's waiting in the wings to approach you and you have no idea, okay? But this is kind of like the answer to your prayers in a way. Someone's got an admirer. I'm not, uh, hey. I'm, I mean, I'm just saying. There's someone out there that's watching you, that's been watching you, um, and, you know, they kind of have the hots for you. <laughs> okay? Um, but you're definitely, some. someone is definitely coming. I, I think both parties, actually, are coming out of an, a situation of some sort of missed opportunity, maybe even miscommunication, that kind of turn things sour um but that's okay i mean it was kind of a lesson and whatever's coming next is bringing justice for both of you all right but that's like in the past that's that's old news ten of swords okay so now i want to clarify the page of swords and the six of cups who's this person <laughs> let's clarify please Woo. wow Wow, that's a, oh my goodness, okay. That's a lot. All right, so death. They've gone through some sort of transformation, and I really feel like you've gone through a transformation too, which is helping you align with this new energy. Good Lord, this is a lot of cards. Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Unknown, and the Eight of Swords. Wow. Six of Swords, Queen of Cups. This could be a Cancerian. Okay, we've got the Queen of Cups, and we've got the Chariot here twice. Well, not twice, but we've got cards that represent Cancer twice. Two of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Two of Cups and the Hanged Man. Ace of Wands. All right, so this is definitely, we have the Ace of Wands twice here. Okay. Definitely, someone is definitely sprung. Has got the hots, is interested, um, wants to talk, but see... They're kind of stuck. All right, we've got the Ten of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. They're afraid of some sort of rejection here, okay? Um, I really feel like somebody sees a very bright future with another person. But again, they don't, know, they don't necessarily know how to approach the situation, okay? So it looks like here, they're just kind of juggling, you know, keeping things in balance, watching waiting observing but still feeling trapped in some way and it's an it's a, and then so two of pentacles eight of swords the unknown and the two of cups there's this okay two of cups and six of cups all right there's definitely energies of soulmate bonds here but someone just doesn't know how to approach someone doesn't know how it's going to work out um, and they're needing to get themselves out of that mindset because it is kind of challenging and imprisoning. And, and um, it's a, I think it, what I think is a f it's a fear of the unknown here for some of you, for this person, okay? But they definitely want to move forward. Six of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Two of Wands. And this is not. This is more just. It's like they're coming out of a uh, situation in which they needed to make a decision of which way to go. And I feel like they've decided to move in a completely different direction, different direction than they would have. They what? Then they may have gone in the past. And that feels pretty liberating for them. Okay. So you aside, or whoever like they're attracted to aside, they're moving in a new direction because it's right for them. That's just how this feels. They're more emotionally uh, about. They're more emotionally balanced, and ready to go, and get something new started. Okay, they have the decision that needed to be made. Well, here's that decision: the Ace of Wands. They're going where their passions lie, where they're interested. Okay. All right. So then, but change, death, transformation. They went through a major transformation here. But I feel like both of you, honestly, both of you are going through a major transformation, and this could be. And keep in mind, this doesn't have to be two separate people. This could be one person, okay, that's going through this. Okay, so a little bit more clarity. If we're not talking, if 
we're not talking about some sort of soulmate bond here, we are talking about someone that's moving forward in a way that, in, their, in a way which their inner child is kind of like taking the lead. Or they're going forward with something from the past that really inspired them, but that they never actually got a chance to do or never allowed themselves to do. Okay? So now let's go down here. Now this would be the other person that's waiting in the wings and watching, potentially. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, Page of Cups. This person definitely wants to communicate. And I heard commit for some of you. There are some energies here of this person is already ready to like <laughs> get started on building a commitment <laughs> of some sort. Let's get some clarity here, please, spirit. Okay. King of Wands. Wow. And death again. Oh, at the sun. Okay, so this is advice for this person here, because you see that all of their cards are reversed, which means that there's, it's saying that all of the energies are here, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, and Page of Cups, but there's a blockage. There's something holding it up in a way. Um, and like I said, this person has gone through a major transformation major transformation in their lives and it's like they've stepped into more of their power i really feel like they've recently become much more aware of who they are and what it is they truly want in life and so now they're taking they're basically they're taking the reins and they're moving forward with themselves and so the advice here is to say that everything actually is going to be just fine with the sun things may be better than you think or things are just once things get going and get in motion, it's going to be, things are going to be looking really good, you know, for you or for this person here. I really feel like for the most part, this is kind of like the cross watcher, even though this is not really a reading that's meant for a specific sign or anything. This could, this kind of feels like the cross watcher in a sense. Okay. The one that would be investigating would be looking into somebody else now if this is you like if, the, if all of this energy is what's going on with you then okay but you know take it as it resonates guys it's just like for some of you for some situations this feels like the cross watcher down here okay so finally let's clarify this individual up here represented by the four of swords queen of pentacles five of cups and six of swords now this person is quite well manifested is probably going to be um identified more on the feminine side so this is where i'm getting the energies of the divine feminine whether male or female um, but this is someone that's quite well manifested already um, and kind of has is the type of individual that just has like their head down and is moving forward in life um, it's probably going i'm feeling a lot of sorrow a lot of heartbreak from this queen of pentacles and that makes sense because she has the five of cups here and um he or she Whoever, it doesn't matter. This is energies, not gender, but this this individual represented by the Queen of Cups has a lot of love to give. Um, and that tower moment for this person, I feel like in a sense that a potential to express that love, to share that love was kind of ripped away, um, but it was a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it was a good thing because it was kind of not the healthiest. It was pretty toxic. Um, so now there's just a, some residual energies of kind of trying to get over it. So that's why we have this four of swords here. Okay. There's a little bit of rest and recalibration that's happening. Um, we do have the five of cups, which, which came out twice here, you know, once in the clarifiers, once in the beginning, but then there's six of swords. So either this person is actively moving forward or is taking steps to move on. Okay. Maybe has already even moved on to be quite honest, but is still kind of like dealing with some residual hurt or just waiting for the next chapter to start. Um, that kind of energies. Either way, both parties are moving forward with conviction here because we do have the chariot. All right. But let's get some clarification here for this person. Four of swords, queen of pentacles, five of cups and six of swords. Please spirit. Okay, let's try again. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ten of Swords. Yep. Ooh, Page of Wands. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
All right, well, now, <laughs> now the cards are talking. All right, ooh, chow. Underneath the deck is the Emperor. All right, we have the Magician, the Ten of Swords, the Hermit, the World. Major completions for this person. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. All right. All right. Well, yes, so this person definitely is in a hermit mode right now. So all of these cards really are connected. We have the Ten of Swords, the World, the Hermit, and wait, what was the last one? Oh, the Magician. All right. So some, this person very much is, could be uh, kind of in reclusive mode. Um, probably a little bit in their shell, okay? Um, this person could have Cancerian energy too, so, um, you know, they're kind, of, they're kind of in hibernation mode. Um, but they're going within to try and work on healing and try and bringing, to try and bring this cycle that they're coming out of to full completion with the world here and to manifest something new through this heartbreak that they have endured or whatever, whatever it is that's represented by um, the five of cups here. We have the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles, and we have the page of wands. So this person um, is very inspired to start something new. With the ace of swords, they, this person may have recently become aware that someone has a crush on them or someone's been watching them. Um, maybe they're going, they're about to find out, okay? Um, I really feel like if this person were to just continue in their creative efforts, because this page of wands here is giving energies of being inspired to start a new chapter in their lives, okay? Um, and that's what the Ace of Pentacles is actually saying too with the Ace of Swords. This is, <clears throat> this is the inspiration and the knowledge, the aha moments, the ideas to really get going, okay? In a new direction for themselves. And with the Emperor, I'm getting two things here with the Emperor. One, they are the master of their domain, you know, especially since you have the Queen of Pentacles energy here. Um, which to me is giving the energies of the Divine Feminine. Um, this is probably a feminine figure or someone that resonates more with femininity or the Divine Feminine that's very much focused on their finances or very much focused on their physical representation, their physical manifestation. Here we have the energies of the Divine Masculine. All right, so this is definitely someone that could have recently come into a greater balance of masculine and feminine energy, but this is someone that is very much in control of their lives, masters of their domain, very much well manifested. And, um, you know, this is someone that also I'm getting, I'm picking up, someone that is kind of looking for a masculine energy to, co to, to not to complete them, but to match them. Okay, so that they can basically work together. This definitely could be an energy of a divine feminine here who had a tower moment with their twin. Their divine masculine has now come to a greater sense of self, a greater sense of unity within, and is looking to match up with a new masculine. And it doesn't have to be. Now, for some of you, it could be your twin flame absolutely could be but it doesn't have to be for many of you it doesn't have to be as long as it's someone a counterpart someone that can match you that can you know be somewhat on your level and that you can grow with and continue to manifest your life and everything with i mean that's that's really all that's necessary and i really feel like that's really all that this person needs it's just when it comes to a relationship, not to say that they need a relationship, but when it comes to a relationship, um, a counterpart, whatever, the only requirement is that they be able to keep up, that they be able to match you vibrationally, and that they're willing to grow and be in some sort of commitment, some sort of partnership. 
Because this Queen of Pentacles really is not looking for a fling, a one-night stand. She's very grounded. She's very secure. She's very family-oriented. And you can't have a family if you're just wishy-washy all over the place. You know what I mean? This is really interesting, you guys. Well, actually, here we go. I just realized this, but in my opinion, this is a depiction of the Divine Masculine here with the King of Wands. Um, and this came out as a clarification for this person who's potentially waiting in the wings here. Wow, we have two depictions of the Divine Masculine with the Emperor and the King of Wands. So I'm not necessarily saying that this person is a twin flame. They could be. They absolutely could be. Um, but... You don't have to be on a twin flame journey. You don't have to identify as a twin flame yourself to embody the energies of the divine masculine or the divine feminine. Regardless of whether you're a twin flame or not, we all have these energies within. So it's like this person here is stepping up to the plate, is embodying their balanced and healthy masculine energy. Potentially coming out of some sort of twisted masculine energy too, which could be because I just heard twisted masculine energy. So this could be the transformation that they went through. And they've finally like, or not finally, but they've come to an energy of leveling up into uh, uh, balanced, healthy masculine energy. And so because of that, they are having, it's like there's a sense of respect that they are holding in. Okay, they know they have this attraction here. The Ace of Wands has come out twice. They have this attraction here, but in this sense, as far as they're concerned, it's a little blocked, but that's because they're holding back in some way. I just want to go over this middle row here again, because I feel like I may not have explained it well enough, but I think I did. Um, there's an energy here with the five of pentacles there's some there's a little bit of an energy of not of feeling somewhat lacking this could be carry over from the past um but with the the hanged man this person has recently come to an understanding that they are fan just as fabulous on, on their own they are not lacking in anything and anyone that doesn't see their worth it just isn't worthy of accepting their worth you know and ultimately they're understanding that they ha they can have the ten of cups this could be you and this could be the other person. I mean, this really could be both of you. Um, and this would be a common energy that you're aligning through. This person that's, like, that's waiting in the wings is very much an intuitive person, does honor their emotions. Again, could be a Cancerian or another water sign, it doesn't matter. But I say a Cancerian specifically because the Queen of Cups does represent Cancer, and so does the Chariot, okay, which is right here underneath the deck. But it doesn't matter. I mean, this also... <laughs> okay, and then this person up here in the top row could be um, an, an Aries or a Virgo or another fighter sign, potentially a Sagittarius. Down here, this person could be uh, Leo or Scorpio. But again, it doesn't matter. Okay, signs are not really the thing. It's more about the energies. But this person definitely uses their intuition to move forward. And like I said, this, regardless of whether, you know, they approach you or not, they're definitely moving in a brand new direction that is more conducive to who they are as a person. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some clarification, no, not clarification. I'm going to get uh, some oracle guidance here, starting with the animal spirit deck. All right, Spirit, thank you so much. Best messages for today, Thursday, December 20th, 2018. Oh, 
Swan. Underneath the deck is Tarantula. Actually, I want to leave that out. And then the card that came out is Swan. Now, um, Swan, to me, this could be a twin flame card because Swan's, is this, it's upside down. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, Swan is kind of like a twin flame energy. Swans are symbols of twin flames, or at least have become symbols for twin flames. Um, this to me is like a mirror image, right? So I really feel like whoever you're wa whoever's watching you, or whoever is interested in you, in you, you two mirror each other in some in some ways, in some really good ways, actually. I would say. I mean, first of all, both of you could be extremely intuitive. <laughs> Very much so. Um, and something that just popped out. There's some sort of, there's definitely some sort of new beginning coming for this person in the top row here. Uh, between the world, the magician, they're really in the process of manifesting something brand new. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I mean, this could be a really passionate message with the Page of Wands coming towards you. A brand new start. It might be startling, not going to lie. It might be a bit startling with this Ace of Swords. I don't know why, but I'm getting an energy of this probably, this might be a surprise to some of you, okay? Well, obviously, um, it could be a surprise if this person is wait, that's waiting in the wings here, you're not really aware of them, okay? So, Swan. Effortless creativity. Sensitive mystic. Elegant power. The Swan represents heightened creativity. In Hindu mythology, the goddess Sarasvati, the embodiment of language, creativity, and artistry, rides on the back of this graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there, to, to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. This potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly. When the swan card appears, your soul is calling for attention, for solo time. An inner voice is waiting to be heard, an inner vision likely to be revealed. When in balance, Swan has infinite creative power. When out of balance, Swan is agitated, snippy, and lacking vision. To bring into balance, one must have some solar time or do some writing. Uh, and that's just, that's where I feel like both people are right now. In some sort of seclusion, isolation, potentially, um, solo time. This person up here is definitely dealing with coming out of a tower moment, coming out of a pretty strong situation that was quite tumultuous, but in which that, you know, they learned quite a bit. And down here, down here, there's an energy of um, this other person here, or it could be you, but I really feel like this is like potentially like a cross watcher type energy. Whoever is watching this other person up here, um, they're still going through a bit of a transformation themselves. Um, from this old self into this new sense of self with death and the king of wands here, okay? All right, I do want to read Tarantula. Oh, wow, here we go. Yeah, this is kind of perfect. <laughs> tarantula, at a crossroad, claiming life's purpose. The Tarantula represents a moment when a great decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your life's deeper purpose or dharma. A habit or routine from the past is sidetracking you from your dream, yet a voice inside keeps begging you to refocus your attention. In order to find true happiness, you must choose dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. The Tarantula hovers patient and calm like an old friend that knows your inner soul. It already knows you'll choose wisely. Uh, to an imbalance, Tarantula follows their intuition. When out of balance, Tarantula hesitates and over-intellectualizes. To bring into balance, one must practice some daily journaling. And I did pick up from this person that's waiting in the wings, uh, potentially, or whatever, however that r resonates for you. This person has gone through a major transformation, okay, death and uh, the King of Wands, all right, and is moving forward in a direction that regardless of whether whatever that has to do with someone else, they're moving in a brand new direction for themselves, okay? It's one that is much more in greater alignment with who they truly are. I'm going to close... All right, 
Um, I'm going to get Oracle Guidance today, close out the reading with Oracles from the uh, a Lightworker Oracle. Okay. Again, guys, please let me know if the shuffling is too loud on the microphone, okay? Alrighty, everyone, closing message from the Lightworker Oracle, please, Spirit, for today, Thursday, December 20th. Thank you so much. There we go. Ah, card number five. <laughs> karmic clearing. Yeah, both of you are really going through some serious karmic clearing right now. <laughs> and there's change happening. Oh, my God. Look at what I just... I just flipped to card 11, 11, 11, card 11 in the book. Well, that means something. <laughs> but card number five here, karmic clearing. You are fast outgrowing a level of consciousness to which are attached particular wounds, issues, and struggles. As you outgrow that consciousness, these issues will release their grip on you. You are receiving divine notice that karmic clearing is taking place through a combination of your own efforts and spiritual grace from the heart of the divine. It is time for an old wound to be released once and for all. Karma is not punishment. Karma is essentially our soul's lesson plan for this lifetime, carried over from past lifetimes. It is the way we grow and develop as a soul, sometimes through challenges and sometimes through blessings. Our positive karma is seen in the skills and talents we have mastered over many lifetimes. Also, when opportunities flow easily and healing happens swiftly. These are a sense of positive karma, an easy grace that effortlessly, effortlessly takes place in your life. This is what happens when we are clear enough of our own past pain to have little resistance between us and the natural flow of life. The more challenging karma is revealed in the lessons we are still learning. These usually appear in the guise of painful circumstances or reactions that repeat themselves in our lives. The stronger the soul, the more challenging the lesson it is willing to master this lifetime. As with any education, the higher the level of training, the more demanding the work. When you are working through big challenges, it is often a sign that you are on an advanced spiritual path. You must always, oh, must you always have to struggle in your life as an advanced soul? Of course not. As you master your lessons, you will find you develop an ability to live your life more peacefully. However, it would be incorrect to interpret the sh a struggle as a sign that you are not progressing spiritually. If you have been struggling with a long-term issue, this oracle card comes as a particular sign that the universe wants to step in and assist you. Repeat, oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, it gives an invocation, but... They basically, the universe does want to come in and, and help you here. And that's what I was picking up when we were clarifying the tower in reverse. You have uh, justice and the seven of swords. And this is not, to me, this is not necessarily an energy of a tower moment being blocked. You've already been through this tower moment, okay? And so now you have the universe coming in and like behind the scenes, like making everything better for you, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so I, again, am running a sale for um, all readings, except for, $20, uh, except for single question readings. All readings are 20% off, and that's going until uh, midnight, December 31st. And also, I am run doing another happy hour session this Saturday, afternoon yeah details for that are to come shortly but with all that said i hope everyone has a great day and i look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning yeah take care everyone Mwah. bye